Hi, this is Rachel with your trainer tip of the week. Today I'm going to be walking you through a traditional kettlebell swing. Um, so to start with, you want your feet about hip width apart, a little bit wider if that feels more comfortable on your joints. And we're just going to break down the movement here real quick with no weight. So hands in front. You want to think about your hips as kind of a hinge. So you're just bending there, you're never bending in your, in your back at all. A little bit in your knees, but mostly in the hips here. So weights in your heels. You're going to sink the hips back enough to get the hands kind of through. Again, that back is flat, torso's tall, shoulders back, everything's engaged. With a strong exhale, you're pushing into the heels, driving the hips forward, getting engagement around the whole hip girdle, and then the hands are just going to move with momentum, kind of up towards shoulder height. So you're swinging back and down and squeezing up to the top. So abs engaged, back engaged, glutes, quads, everything. Um, and when you're first starting this move, I want you to start with a lighter weight. Um, right here I have a 10 pound kettlebell. We have everything from six and up from there. Um, so again, our swing from here. So weights in the heels, my core is engaged, my shoulders are back. And I'm just using momentum to drive through, pushing up with the heels, getting that powerful exhale to help you lift. And if you feel like your shoulders are tiring out, like you're lifting more than you're swinging, that's why I want you to slow it down, to take a second reset, and kind of focus on that momentum. So you're driving, everything comes from those hips. All right, so then I'll give you a little example with a little bit heavier bell, kind of what that looks like, the difference. So your upper arms are gonna be a little bit more engaged because it's heavier, so you're holding a lot more weight here. So now I have the 25 pounds. So weights in the heels, I'm gonna bend at my hips, shoot them forward, Woo. there we go. So that's your traditional kettlebell swing. Now the benefits of this move is kind of everything. So you work on body strength, power, hip mobility, cardio, all that in one. It's kind of your jack of all trades move. So thanks for tuning in today.